All right, so necrosis in the first place, necrosis is basically a cell death, all right? Some injury or some illnesses, some inflammation actually led to cell death, okay? And these cell deaths actually have different patterns, and one of it is basically what we call what? Cation necrosis or caseous necrosis, okay? And we'll just be discussing caseous necrosis or caseation necrosis in this lecture, right? This is a typical example. A case station necrosis all right so we'll just be having like talking about the definition of the concept and the characteristics of the concept okay so case on necrosis is a type of necrosis which is a form of cell death okay and this will occur in response to infection all right typically with what mycobacterium tuberculosis can occur with other infections though all right but typical of it is mycobacterium infection that's why you see what um, us bringing the lungs here, all right, and this type of case station is mostly seen in tuberculosis and tuberculosis is an illness which is caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis, okay? So now what are the characteristics of this case station necrosis? There will be a cheesy or caseous material. This looks like a cheese, right? So now um, the affected tissue turns into soft, white or crumbly what material re re resembling a cheese, all right? There's necrotic debris. We say that the tissue dies and breaks down, forming a mass of dead cells and debris. Okay. And there's also what granulomatous uh, inflammation. And granulomatous inflammation is a type of chronic inflammation, which is characterized by formation of a granulomas, which are clusters of what immune cells attempting to contain the infection. So anywhere you see granul uh, like that, uh, this uh, histology slide of what granuloma. Now note this. Can you see in the middle of this, there's like some microorganisms being trapped. Okay. So granulomas are formed because what? It's a need to trap the microorganism that will cause further harm to you. Okay. To pain you, but that's still part of what used to actually pay to survive. Okay. So, caseation necrosis can be seen in what? Tuberculosis, can be seen in leprosy, can be seen in what? Sarcoidosis, can be seen in fungal infections like what? Histoplasmosis, all right? So, it is important to know that caseation necrosis is a specific type of necrosis that occurs in response to certain infections. And it is not a generic name or term for necrosis, all right? Because there are other types of necrosis, okay? So, the term caseation comes from the Latin word caseus, meaning cheese, all right? Now, this would describe the appearance of the affected tissue, all right? So basically, the affected tissue look like a cheese, all right? So look like a cheese, okay? That's it about casation necrosis or caseous necrosis. This guy will talk about um, definition characteristics and examples of diseases that have this type of in, this type of necrosis. That's it in bike now.